I never intended to take such a long break. It just turned out that way. Uh, looking back, would I have taken as long a break? No. You know, I, you, yes, you said out of sight, out of mind. And, and that was a very real fear. I, I was literally very cut off, whether it was through via social media or, or, or it was uh, through uh, my uh, friendships or whatever. I, I wasn't really uh, engaged with, with, with the industry. From my point of view, uh, I've, there was an opportunity cost. You know, you feel, I feel I missed out. When I did come back, uh, you know, uh, I went and met all the people I first had worked with and, you know, just let them know that I'm looking for work. All the privileges or whatever the perks and the frills that come with being a known face or a, or a famous person didn't, didn't exist in, 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 in London. Hi, Fadeen, welcome to The Quint. Thank you for having me. You've returned to the sets after over a decade and that too with a director who everyone has on their list to work with, right? Since 1998 to the time you set foot on this set, what do you feel has changed on sets today? Things are a lot more professional, you know, a lot more decentralized. Uh, you know, you have HODs. Uh, I think uh, there's a lot more premium on time. Mm, that's very interesting. Yeah, because, uh, you know, so everyone's, everyone's accountable. There's a lot more prep. Audiences have become a lot more sophisticated. So no longer are they going to accept mediocre stories or, or half-baked characters. Uh, well, the other big change is um, there's no value for film stock anymore. <laughs> Earlier, <laughs> we had a 400-foot can of film. Yeah, yeah. Now everything's digital. They're recording rehearsals. No one really cares. There's a mistake. You know, they'll, 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 they'll uh, uh, you know, fix it in post <laughs> or they'll do something or the other. <laughs> so that is, that is a huge huge difference. You know, of course, you've returned to the sets after over a decade. When you do something like this in an industry like this one, out of sight is out of mind, right? Did it ever kind of worry you as an actor that what will happen to my career? Or because I would like to think one has to be extremely secured in themselves to say it's all right to stop, to pause. I never intended to take such a long break. Hmm. It just turned out that way. Yeah. Uh, looking back, would I have taken as long a break? No. I would have done it differently. I still spending time, you know, just rekindling relationships, getting to know the landscape. There's a whole new breed of, of filmmakers, storytellers. The kinds of stories that are told are different. Protagonists have changed. And this is, this is also very much a uh, relationship based, you know, so, so, so forming those relations again you know, uh, I, I just adopted the attitude of, of coming back as a newcomer. Mm. Yes, and that has its own inherent fears. You know, uh, you, yes, you said out of sight, out of mind. And, yeah. and that was a very real fear. You know, uh, you're talking about, I mean, I took a pretty extended break from the films. You're talking about, you know, uh, I had a release after 14 years. And uh, of course, it's, I mean, um, uh, daunting, scary. Uh, you're, you're fearful if you if you if, if people who liked your work, who were your supporters, your fans, if they still remember you, they still even care to see you. Have they changed? Have they moved on? I mean, uh, because I I was literally very cut off. Yeah. Whether it was through via social media or 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 it was uh, through uh, my uh, friendships or whatever, I I wasn't really uh, engaged with 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 the industry at all. You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm learning. I feel like a, a newcomer student making my debut all over again. Yeah. It's been quite, quite a journey. You and feel like you're starting off again? Oh yes, I mean, in effect I am. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm older, I look different, you know, I'm, I'm reaching out to a new audience. From my point of view, uh, I've, there was an opportunity cost. Mm -hmm. You know, you feel, I feel I missed out and, and my regret comes from that. You know, if the audiences are to, 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 to uh, accept your work. I mean, this is one of those few professions where you can keep working as long as you can remember your lines and speak a few words and, 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 and stay standing. Not even necessarily stay standing. Yeah. You can even act while sitting. Yeah. Maybe you could stand, you could still, still have yeah. a job. That age, that time will never come back. That's true. So, so in that sense, it was costly for me. But maybe that time won't come back, but I really do think that maybe what you're out to write now will be a new chapter which will oh, could be I, even I, more exciting. That is the hope, that is the intention and you know when I did come back uh, you know uh, I went and met all the people I first had worked with and you know just 
let them know that I'm looking for work and you know if they had anything you know I wasn't expecting anything big small I wasn't thinking in that way I just like you know I just wanted to get back to work you know I, I knew it was a long time since that I've been away and you know I, there was there was so many there was so many uh, uncertainties and so many things I didn't know I mean didn't even know the audiences wanted to see me you know earlier you mentioned that you know of course at that time you would probably think what if I'm missing out on something but in those years where you offered a script that you would have probably liked to do but you couldn't do because you had decided that okay I'm going to take this time off there were quite a few offers hmm. until uh, I think 2014 2000 you know till till then and then people saw me transform <laughs> i gained a lot of weight let myself go completely and then i think they said of course mm -hmm. i don't think he's really interested so <laughs> no entry was always on the cards yeah. at the time um, and there was always a con conversations happening every few months yeah. and it's going to start now and then of course that was there and, yeah. and i remember it was boni and salman and yeah. better get into shape man i've seen these pictures not happening we're doing it get into shape <laughs> so i will give you 6 months so <laughs> so So the but anyway you know for the I truly do believe and I'm sure you will as well um in life when all of us are going through certain things in our life it's what kind of eventually shapes us or you know it's our challenges or the times that have been difficult in our personal lives that kind of make us who we are and help us kind of evolve right as i say this is a time in your life where you felt like you know that was probably the toughest time in my life but i stood strong being resilient and i'm standing here today i think that is the default yeah of life yeah you know the challenges you know sometimes failures sometimes serious setbacks that is what builds character i don't think anything teaches you more than the tough the tough times and in that sense yes i have had certain challenges and you know i've been fortunate that i've had uh, you know people in my life uh, you know hold hold up uh, a mirror to me you know uh, and and uh, you know really make me think about about traits or aspects of my nature that that you know i i need to i need to work on so i think you know it it yes it takes a little bit of bravery and courage it's it's very very important to to uh you know uh to learn from we were talking about failure yeah. we were talking about setbacks you know so that's why i think it's just very very important in the past you've been extremely vocal about everything that you've been through whether it's about your wife losing your father um you know that you finally moved to london for someone who was i would like to say extremely famous and you're back now successful to take that break and then we see this world around us where everyone's constantly doing something or the other just to stay relevant be famous be successful especially in this world of social media advent right Uh, having taken that break yourself moved to london one is how did life change for you then and do you now when you look back and say you know it's just not all about fame and success i was cut off and i moved to a country where people from my country were the minority so there was a certain freedom you know that i that i had just being me all the privileges or whatever the perks and the frills that come with being a known face or a or a famous person didn't didn't exist in 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 London actually you don't know no one's ever asked me that uh in that sense uh when i think about it now sure it's a good 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 reminder of who your true authentic self is that's the best i could i can frame it for you now you know we can talk about social media and you know there are there are lots of aspects about it that revealing themselves to be not healthy for especially for 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 young uh, adults or children or teenagers sorry uh, but there are lots Absolutely. of good things i think you know people are communicating a lot more yeah. i mean this is the first time in the in 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 our, in our history where we are empowered everyone has a voice and and if that resonates the whole world hears it you know so you have a connection literally to every person in the world and you know so it's going to affect us in ways that we i don't believe understand even now but yes there are ways in which it can affect our behaviors sometimes negatively make us when i say negatively what i mean is you know you feel you know that you're missing out and how that is impacting somebody who doesn't necessarily have the the uh, psychological approach and tools to to deal with it not take it personally whether it's about trolling or whether it's young uh, uh, teenage girls who are really paying a heavy price you know uh, in i mean whether it's anxiety whether it's depression whether it's you know 
attempted suicides or whatever you know i mean social media for for, for girls it's who, who get on and young is yeah. is is proving to be a hell of a challenge for, for for the reasons that you've said one last question for the Today, when you see the new generation of actors, you're working with them and you, you know, see them around you, what do you think is different about them from your generation of actors? Uh, they're so much more confident. They have so much exposure. That's true. You know, uh, so in that sense, they're so far ahead at that young age than what we were. They're bloody, some of them are wise. <laughs> <laughs> they have their, their fundas pretty clear. I mean, my, my girl is 10. Yeah. I'm, I'm dreading 13, 14, where she's gonna you know, be very, yeah. very clear. And everyone's already warning me, so I'm also prepping myself. Yeah. So yeah. Are the kids excited to see you back on screen? How are they taking? You having your uh, they haven't seen. The they have. They might have seen a couple of scenes. They they don't. They don't. They don't live here yeah. in, in in Mumbai. But they've seen a couple of scenes of. Uh, they've seen one old picture of mine. Uh, it was. It was. It was uh, a, a joy to share it with them. Yeah. That daddy. That's you. <laughs> you know. Then the, my son was of course younger. So for him to make sense of. Oh, what is this job that he's doing? Yeah. Is this a job? Is this a real job? Who is this guy sitting next to me? And who's that? Yeah. And why are you behaving like this? I mean, why are you being different? And why are you behaving so stupidly? <laughs> so, so, yeah. Do you miss spending time with all your time with them? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. I miss them a lot. Okay. Yes, I, I miss them a lot. Thank you so much for Thank talking you. to me and good luck for the next okay. chapter. Thank you. Thank you.